in this video we got a nice little scheme for y'all at a gun tray open offset now let's go ahead and jump into the plays or audibles these are going to be my go-to's right here we got the red zone under this is the bread and butter right here we got the rpo you know we got to add the best run play avail available this is going to be a nice third down setup and then y'all already know how i feel about having a little screen pass you can put another play here um you don't have to put the screen pass but that's just something i like to have in the mix um if i see something I like i will audible to that um there is a few other good plays um like another one that i do like to run is the wide corner because you can do like a dual corner setup um we'll probably jump into that in the gameplay but first we're going to show you how to set this up um against all defenses uh so you can have a little bit of something if they're in cover three cover four cover two or man coverage so let's go to jump into the practice field and show you how we set this up all right so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the bread and butter it's gonna be the red zone under and y'all can probably already tell what's gonna be happening right here uh we're gonna get a corner streak and a flat route combo um so what you're gonna go ahead and do is put b on a streak you're gonna put your running back on a streak and motion them over and there's one thing i've been doing a little bit different with the the solo side receiver when it comes to these little setups i actually been putting them on comeback routes and i don't know why but it's been opening up the middle of the field a lot more and on top of that it's a really good check down against pretty much all zone coverages but cover two and then it also can beat man coverage now leave rb on the route that he's on that's probably the best route in this play especially when you're going against a real user um because the user, whoever's guarding the middle of the field, is going to have to follow the running back or the corner route. And what's going to happen with RB, he's going to get open in the middle of the field a lot. Um, but obviously, the go-to is going to be the corner route. So let's just go ahead and show you all what this looks like. And we are going to get to cover three. But however we beat cover three, you're going to also be able to beat cover two and cover four. Um, but let's run that back so you can see what I'm talking about with RB. Um, so let's go ahead and put the streak with B. Or, yeah, with B streak with the running back motion them over now again you're not going to get the full effect because the way that the the defense is going to play uh but you're still going to see that he gets open right here um again if that was the user that's going to and he's going to go help on the running back that would have been open for a lot more yards um but let's also pay attention to the running back again so you can see what i'm talking about how i could get some pretty good yards right here like let's say that the user is playing over there look how open it is in the middle of the field and i've been noticing it's the comeback route that's doing that but that's basically going to be the setup right there um that's the bread and butter you know if you're in a crucial down and you need to get those yards that's going to be the play we're going to be running all right the next play we're going to be talking about is going to be the four verticals this play is also goaded the way we set it up um so what we're going to go ahead and do is motion over the tight end uh, we're going to put the running back on a swing route or an out route, your choice. Um, so this setup on the left side will beat all zone coverages, cover two, cover three, cover four. But the setup on the right side will bomb cover two and cover two man. You want to put your fastest wide receiver at the RB position. He will bomb cover two. And then again, we got A and X and then we got a high low read basically. So it's just a different look, basically almost the same type of concept, corner route, flat route, streak. But we also got something that's going to be able to bomb cover two. Now, this can be your main play right here. This could be the main setup. But let's go ahead and show you what this looks like. A is going to be able to beat everything. You're just going to kind of lead it up like that towards the corner. The flat is always going to react like that. It doesn't matter what kind of flat they're playing over there. It's going to react like that. Mark Andrews is going to be able to get over the top. Um, that's going to be, that's what it's going to look like against a cover three and cover, uh, cover three, cover four. Let's jump into a cover two with this setup. All right, so now we're going to be going against a cover two. Same thing. We're going to motion over the tight end. You're running back either on a swing route or an out route like this. And RB is going to completely bomb cover two and cover two man. But this is what it looks like against a regular cover two. He's just going to get wide open because the safeties get split because of the two streaks. And just the way his route develops, it just allows him to get open them in the middle of the field. Um, so you have something that's going to be able to beat all zone coverages and also will beat um, cover two man and cover two. Now, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that against cover one. I don't know if it'll work exactly like that. Um, but if they are in a cover one, you know, I would actually, I would switch it up. I probably wouldn't run this setup. All right. So real quick, I want to go ahead and talk about the Y corner play. Uh, what you're going to go ahead and do is smart route the C route. That's the solo receiver, the X receiver, put your running back on a wheel route, RB on a streak, and then leave B on the route that he's on. So we have a check down in the middle of the field. So the reason this is going to work is because if, if you're not familiar with the wheel routes and what they do to deep blue zones, as long as they can get outside the numbers, which you do see his route, go towards outside the numbers that's going to make the deep blue continue to drop back so that's going to allow us to get a nice sideline catch if we need to stop the clock this is probably a play that you want to run let me show you what this looks like though um basically once he makes that cut you can throw it to your wide receiver get a possession catch and get out of bounds 
and let's say for whatever reason their user is on that side so we still got the look to our right too and we also have the check down in the middle but again we could throw it to our tight end on the right side right here just uh you know me doing my passes that i normally do in practice uh but let's get a good one for you so you can see what it looks like um and if you want to you can always run the basic concept like this the zig route the streak um if you're not comfortable you know with the middle receiver taking the the deep blue out of the way and then you know this is kind of a better setup right here than the other one um i just like the other one because it has a nice check down in the middle of the field but right there you see how we can get a corner out to both sides so if you need to get downfield and get you know stop the clock this is the perfect play right here all right and the last two plays we're going to talk about is going to be the rpo and then the hb slip screen they're pretty you know pretty straightforward and rpo is an rpo um if they send some some type of zero blitz at you you can throw it to the slant if they're playing deep with their zone coverages you can hit the uh, screen pass on the right if you get a nice get a uh, gap with the running back you can go ahead and run it with the running back i mean uh rpos are pretty straightforward um and same thing with um screen passes Always run screen passes when they're in zone coverage, not so much man coverage that you get way better results when uh, they're in zone coverage because nobody's there to actually pick up the running back. Um, and usually you'll get some good blocks and easily could turn this into something big. Um, so now what we're going to do is jump into some gameplay and get this game going against some real users to show you how really good it is. All right, we got game one. We got the Titans. You know, I can't control who we play, but we'll get active. You know what? We really didn't talk about man coverage too much, and that looks like... That's what we're going to be going against right here. Um, but you can still run this concept right here against man coverage. Again, this is where the comeback route and then RB really comes in handy against man coverage. Um, like RB gets open right there. It's basically a flipped zig route. It's an inside out zig route. Uh, that was just a bad throw by me. But you can beat man coverage with the comeback route and the zig or the inside. I don't even know what to call the route, honestly. Uh, a flipped zig. Um what's it got going on right here and this play you can run on either side of the hash it does not matter i mean you could be on the wide side the short side uh you're still going to get really good results i think he's still in man coverage again this does beat um man coverage could have hit him with the comeback route or that one well i guess he's gonna stay in man coverage and if this is he might have went to a cover two we might get the cover two bomb right here. Let's see what happens. Even if it's um, cover two, man, we... Oh, but I don't have my burner. We're going to see what Aguilar can do. We're going to put our faith in Aguilar right here. This is cover two. That's a linebacker. We should be able to get that over. I'll take it. Um, Could have worked better if I had a burner. I got lucky that that was a linebacker there and not a sub linebacker. A, li uh, a sub linebacker. Uh, a safety plan linebacker could have probably picked that off. But like I said, it does bomb cover two um so that is the setup we would run if i do catch him in cover two but next time i will make sure i got the right personnel on the field all right we got game two it has been a minute since i've played a Dolph or a vikings user my bad um i am not in my i'm not trying to run this play whatsoever guess it worked out i haven't played a vikings user in a long time please don't lie down okay good okay we got cover four there all right now we get to go we get to go into our red zone defense. He's 10 yards out. We're going to drop our baby blues to 15. Yeah. And we're going to come out in our 3-4 cover 4. We're going to just pinch. He doesn't have a running quarterback. I'm not going to worry about it too much. It's good at shutting down the run because it is a 3-4 and then... We just be bagging up the pass. Don't don't let me uh I, let me stop talking before I just get dotted. Bring him here. I like that. Good user tackle. He's inching up. He's inching up. Okay, we're at three. We're putting this at five. Make sure we get somebody there. Let's, let's psych them out. Let's shift our whole defense. Yep. And because we put ours at five and five, or right there to play that, perfect defense. Shut down the RPO. We shifted our defense just in case he ran to that side. Perfect way to shut down. Um, he's at five, so we're going to put this to 10. Go back, cover four. Start off with a pinch. Right here, I'm going to put a quarterback spy. 
were there. It is a bag. It is a bag in the red zone, but we are going to get tackled right here because we want to give y'all some offense. But that's my red zone defense. It is a complete bag. I, it works for me all day. Um, but now let's jump into our scheme. He did get downfield. I give him that. Where we at? Where we at? I am in the Chiefs offense right now. I've um, been labbing a couple things. Uh, this is not my go-to by by any means, um, but I do like this scheme we're running right now. So I'm missing the HB screen. All right, we're gonna come out in the RPO. I always love to come out in the run play first. Um, if I see what I like, I take it, and then we audible from there. Um, against Nickel Mug, I'm taking the run play all day. Can it shut down the run? Yes, it can. Um, we might also have the flat or the screen pass. I'm taking the run. Double mug is not a good run stop defense. I don't care what anybody tells you. It is not a good run stop defense. If you do the blitz zone coverage, it is not a good run stop defense. If I catch you in, if I'm in single back and you're in double mug, I'm running a stretch on you all day. Um, unless you just know how to shoot gaps. Um, if you do back up the, the, the linebackers, then yes, it's a pretty decent defense. But other than that, no, it's not. Um, Okay, it looks like he's running a cover six. One cornerback was higher than the other. Other, can't even talk. I can never talk when I'm trying to make these videos. I'm always stuttering, messing up. Y'all should see the cuts, man. The bloopers. I'll be stuttering, uh, messing up my words. Uh, but that's that's one thing that I do like about YouTube. It's helped me with my speech because I've always had an issue with my speech. Um, and it, it's helped me got, get my sentences. Like right there, I messed up. It, it helps me get my sentences out. Do we got cover two? You know what? We're going to play it safe. I don't know what he's in, honestly. He could be cover two man, cover two. Um, we're going to look for the check down. Oh, we got the tight end. Oh, I just couldn't get that pass off. Nice blitz. That was a four. Was that a four man blitz? What did you just run right there? Okay. I see you got a little blitz on you. I'm not mad at that, but I know now I know what to look for. That was not a bad blitz. Um, make sure we ID this guy. Tight end was definitely wide open right there. If I would have got it to the tight end, we would have had it. Check down was there too. Running back's there. Slept on. Don't sleep on that running back. Do not sleep on that running back. So we got a little we got a little comp game. This guy somewhat knows what he's doing. I can see he's, you know, switching his defense up here and there. Okay, we got man coverage right here. This is a hundred if this isn't man coverage, I will be upset. Uh, so we're gonna try man, I keep forgetting to put Duvernay in. That's all right. We're gonna just we're gonna hit a crow route right here with flowers. Again, don't overthink man coverage. You might have switched it up. Uh, it's man. Don't overthink man coverage. Hit your curl routes. Let's get let's get Duvernay in there. I keep forgetting to put him in. I'll put him in that middle that middle section. Should um This is a good scheme, man. I can easily get downfield running this scheme. Obviously, we're getting a we're able to show y'all what to do if they're in man coverage. Look how far he's backed off. I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to go for the RPO screen right here. Um see what happens. All you gotta do is pick up your block. Duvernay. If you block that guy, we get some yards there. Um, but that's not a bad look. Like, I'll definitely take that. Uh, obviously, we just missed a block. Uh, I'm not I'm not upset with that. Um, we're going to actually take the RPO run right here. I like the gap right there. I like Mark Andrews on the outside right there. I'm going to take the run. Oh, the trip up. That's all right. We got some good yards right there. I'm not mad at that. Um, now we're going to throw them off. We're going to go for the screen. We're going to go for the screen. If that slot receiver on the left side blitz, we might hit uh, Bateman on this little quick. Uh, he didn't blitz. That's fine. We got the screen, though. Always mix in your screens. Oh, what a block. Jesus. That was a pancake for you. Um, again, mix in your screen passes. They're there for a reason. They always beat zone coverage. Like, the only way you can stop it with the zone is if you pick it up with the uh, your user. Um. Again, he's in man coverage. We're actually going to try something here. Um, I don't know if it's man coverage. It might not be, but we're going to try something here. We're going to keep our, our setup on the right side, so we still got the high-low read, but we're going to go for the wheel route. Um, we're going to see who picks him up. Yep. 
Will routes destroy. Okay. Come on. That's a touchdown. All you got to do is catch it. It says, I'm, I'm experiencing connection. Oh, no, your opponent. Okay. Will routes. Again, just like crow routes, destroy man coverage. You know, do not sleep on wheel routes and crow routes. He over there yapping away. I don't know if he's trying to say that I'm glitching or something. Y'all y'all see this live. That wasn't me. Um, but, yeah, that was perfect right there. That was a perfect drive using this scheme. No better way to put it. Um, we used a little bit of everything. We showed you what to do if they are man coverage. Got Y'all got a little sneak peek of my defense in the red zone. Um, we're probably going to end the video right there. I mean, obviously, you see I ran the RPO, ran the corner route, you know, what you do against man coverage. Um, we bombed cover two. Um, but yeah, man, definitely, especially if you're in, if you have a playbook that has this this uh, formation, add it to your arsenal, man. Like, just use the plays we've been using. Add a little bit of this, add a little bit of that. Uh, what I want you to realize, though, like, obviously i'm switching things up in game like i'm not always running exactly how i show y'all how to run it sometimes we do got to switch it up you know what since we're just talking a little bit let's keep going um but yeah sometimes you do got to switch it up you're not always going to run it exactly how i ran it oh no no hold on our zone drops no my zone drops are at five but it still played it and man williamson let's go yep yep well, that's one way to end the video, but uh, yeah, like I said, man, if you have this formation in your playbook, definitely add it. I know it's in a cheese for sure, because um, that is the playbook that I'm in, um, but yeah, good video.